Welcome back to Ferocious Education, this is Zed. Today we're going to be talking about Virgin Galactic, also known as SPSE in terms of the ticker. Now, I did talk about SPSE before, and if you'd like to see that video, you'll find it in the description below. But without further ado, let's jump right into this one. So there's a lot to talk about. We're going to go through the CEO, technical analysis, some analyst recommendations, etc. So starting off with the latest update, and it's actually on their latest page on just as soon as you go in. This is the launch of a new space age going on with a ticker here, or, or actually timer here, my bad, going two days and 17 hours away. And you might think, well, what is that? Well, this one here is Virgin Galactic announcing first fully crewed space flight. And the PR here says that the test flight window for Unity 22 mission opens on July 11th. For mission specialists to evaluate Virgin Galactic astronaut experience, Virgin Galactic founder Sir Richard Branson among the mission specialists and the first global live stream of Virgin Galactic spaceflight. Now, July 11th, that appears to be somewhere closer towards Sunday, which is a weekend. So that's why we're seeing a lot of activity Thursday, and we expect a lot of activity Friday in the stock market for space uh, SPSE Virgin Galactic. So this one really says here that the Unity 22 mission will be a 20 second flight test for VSS unit or Unity and the company's four crewed space flight. It will also be the first to carry a full crew of two pilots or mission specialists in the cabin, including the company's founder, Sir Richard Branson, who will be testing the private astronauts experience. So if you had any questions on how long Sir Richard Branson can last in space, it's 20 seconds. Building on the success of the company's most recent space flight in May, Unity 22 will focus on the cabin and customer experience objectives, including evaluating the commercial customer cabin with a full crew, including the cabin environment, sea comfort, the weightless experience and the views of Earth that will, the spaceship itself will deliver. That all to ensure that every moment of the astronaut's journey will maximize the wonder and the awe created by space travel, demonstrating the conditions for conducting human-tended or human-tended research experiments, and finally, confirming the training program at Spaceport America supports the spaceflight experience. It goes on a little bit more relating who these four mission specialists would be, uh, when it's expected exactly, etc. A bit more information, Sir Richard Benson as well mentioned a bit more uh, about this, uh, more of like, hey, we're proud of this, yada yada, 16 years of research, but nothing worth going over from this point. Now, just in case you missed this one and you missed my last video, Virgin Galactic received approval from FAA for full commercial launch license following the success of May test flight. That was really huge. Now, we want to take a look into a couple of things before going on towards the CEO and taking a look about um, who they are, where they're coming from, etc. And so for this one here, first off, institutional buyers, uh, they seem to be very bullish. The last one here, uh, or the last two, were actually decreasing their shares by around 14 and 15 percent, respectively. Uh, but in terms of before that, it looks like there's been a lot more addition than selling. And in terms of insiders, it's been a bit quiet relating to insiders. However, if you were to like take a look into the shorts available, this is 23 minutes ago, you're looking into around 2.4 million uh, shares available for shorts. Now, in my last video, it was around 1.8 million. So you see a decrease number, a decrease in the number of shorts uh, shares available today, given almost exact same timing of the previous video. Before moving on, if you'd like to see more contents like this, make sure to click the subscribe button on the bottom right corner and the bell notification button. It should be right there where my mouse is. And don't forget to drop a like to this video to help this channel grow. And if you would like to join our Discord and discuss things a bit more, it's totally free in the description below. We're not trying to upsell you on anything. Now, on another note, you're able to see that the short interest itself have been hovering around 20 to 25%. This is similar to what you see around with Finviz, short float being around 20.26%. The exact numbers cannot be really as accurate as we want it to be, but assume anywhere between 20 to 25% seems to be where the short float actually does lie. The price over book, I did go through this before, 
It's a company with a lot of hype, so usually the price over book are a bit more overvalued than SP500, similar to Tesla and a lot of other uh, companies that have a lot of hype around them. Now, going on towards the CEO, Michael Golgazier. Now, before even going on to their, maybe the website, etc., I do want to take a look into one year, one year ago. This was made on July 20th, 2021. Virgin Galactic CEO Michael Colgazier reports to work for the first time on Monday after the company announces the changes in the CEO last week. The move marks a bold change for the special or the space tourism ventures, which is getting ready to fly its customers after a decade of developing in spacecraft. But Colgazier introduction as well as hints of Virgin Galactic leadership that it's months away or months away from beginning commercial services has always effectively been a round of applause by the company's stock. And this person here, this executive mentioned the following, taking on the role of CEO of Virgin Galactic at this point in the company's growing strategy is perfectly suited to my background and experience, he told investors. I made one observation early on in this process. That was that Disney and Virgin share a common commitment to world-class service, incredible innovation, and delivering unique, unforgettable experience. Additionally, asked if he would fly on a Virgin Galactic spaceflight himself, he said he absolutely would. Experiencing space has been a childhood dream of mine, said the CEO. The challenge ahead is as steep as the path versions as steep as the path Virgin Galactic's rockets takes during a flight. So it's kind of a nice thing. You get to see some of his career thus far uh, as an Indiana native. Uh, the person here graduated from Stanford University in 1989 and was employed by Disney as an analyst and project manager in the corporate strategy while he worked towards his master's degree from Harvard. After three years, he spent summers working from, uh, for Brain and Company, a top management consulting firm headquartered in Boston, before returning to the House of Mouse in 1994. Over the next 26 years, he held executive roles within Disney's largest uh, segments, park experience, and consumer products. In the last decade, he has been the Vice President of Animal Kingdom, President of the Disneyland Resort, and the President and Managing Director of the Disney Parks International Helming and Operations Developments of Disneyland Paris, Hong Kong Disneyland, Shanghai Disney Resort, and Tokyo Disney Resort. Under his leadership, the Disneyland Resorts in California experienced record growth. Given by his execution of the 60th anniversary Diamond celebration and his introduction of the Marvel franchise into the park, he also was responsible for leading the effort behind the $2 billion Star Wars Galaxy Edge Land that was opened in the public to uh, or opened at 2019 for the public. In an internal company memo, Disney Parks chairman Josh Damero showed his appreciation for Colgazier's time with the entertainment giant. Bob Chapik and I want to thank Michael for his incredible 30 years of service and dedication to the company. He also has been an invaluable asset for our business and will be greatly missed. So that's the, pers the person currently running Virgin Galactic, uh, the current CEO. He appears to be bringing some Disney magic to the table. Now, we can go back onto the website, etc., and see the passage or the paragraph itself that they have written on him, but you can do that on yourself, or you can just pause and read it. Now, on a side note, we're able to see a bit more about his career history, but I think we already covered that for the most part. Now, you get to see in terms of tenure, it shows February 2021. That's because previously he was CEO. Currently, he's a CEO slash president, but he held it from a year ago. So this year is his first year anniversary as the CEO with Virgin Galactic or as just with Virgin Galactic in general. So hopefully we get to see better on that. And let's move on towards technical analysis. Now, from a technical analysis point of view, there's a lot of things that are very interesting. For instance, a golden star which is very bullish was seen on the 1st of July, or golden cross, whatever you want to call it. The 10 SMA is above the 30 MA, which is very, very bullish. And within the two, there's something called a trading action zone, where most positive reversals occur, as you get to see here. Now, the current level is between 47.45 and 30.43, um, so the current price point is above that anyway. And in terms of the 80x, it's really close to 50, but it's been there for a while, so I'm not really going to give it much of day, but above 50, be careful of reversals. 
Willing percent %R is very similar to the Relative Strength Index, also known as RSI. The Willing percent %R is neither overbought or oversold, a bit closer to, to the overbought section, but still not in that level. So we're going to cut it some slack there. On the MACD, you get to see that it attempted a negative reversal on the 7th of July and then reversed so quickly with a really nice bullish kicker towards the bullish side. So currently, this is a positive reversal that really kicked in at the best time it could actually do. Now, in terms of momentum, extremely bullish at 1526. Stochastic fast and stochastic slow both are actually pinpointing upwards, showing a very, very bullish action, and another leg up is very possible from here. The Bollinger Bands, which is basically momentum average volume bands, expects this one to trade at 5503 on the top and 2920 in the bottom. Volumes haven't been as strong as they were on the 25th of June, and so it, it is currently running on slower volume. In terms of the Fibonacci retracements and the reason why I'm using this one is high frequency traders do use it. The current support here is 5082, 4144, 3485, 2826, 2011, and 690. The current only resistance on the Fibonacci retracements is 6278. Now, if you were to take a look into price line actions, this one has to break a very strong resistance at 5219, and then following that 5466, and then finally at 5748, and then going on to 5960, and then to $63. The current level of support that you can find, it's a very strong one sitting closer to the 5016. Be careful if it drops below there. Another one is 4927. Another one is sitting at 4654. Another very crucial one at 4257. And then one below at 3904. And then below there, 3419. Below there, the next support would be somewhere around 2784. And then next on 27, or my bad, I'd already done that, 2448. I can go lower and lower all the way to 690, but hopefully it's not going to go to that direction. Now, a quick thing towards analyst recommendations. And you get to see in terms of analyst ratings, the current average price target are, is around 3464 which is around 32% downside. Currently, it has four buy, six holds, and one sells. The most recent price target was actually uh, reiterated with a price target of around $51, uh, which would be closer to where it is right now anyway. And this one here, the success rate of this person is 57%, with an average yearly return of 13%. The one from three days ago was actually a downgrade to a price target of $36 with hold, although this person's success rate is around 82% with an average return of 23% a year. Another one reiterated a buy around 50 bucks, and this one's success rate is 62% with an average yearly return of 16%. Downgraded another one three days ago around a price target of 45 bucks with a rating of hold. This person's success rate is 65% with an average return of 13%. And the last one I'm going over today is another downgrade nine days ago. This is the only person that gave it a sell. This person's success rate is 55%, although average return on 69 recommendation made 0% on average return yearly. So I think the one with the highest percentage rating is the success rate of 82% with an average return of 23% who gave it a hold and downgraded it to $36. Hopefully that he's wrong and this one does break the 60 bucks. But again, these people usually tend to look at a longer term with a bit more sense and they forget the high pretail factor. Now, what I think about this one, I think that tomorrow, Friday, and coming in towards Monday, it can really experience a lot of volatility. With the right move, with the right PR, it can easily go to 70 bucks. But sometimes you want to buy the rumor, sell the news, because that's a risk. Let's say people buy the rumor or buy because they're going to think this is going to be a successful, the rumor that's going to be a successful fly, everything's going to be amazing. Coming in Monday, you find it a red bloodbath. Why? Because people were selling. Because they were all waiting. Okay, this is a hype. I want to sell ahead of the curve. And as soon as this bleeding starts, it just tanks. So be very careful of that. But you can definitely make good money on Friday and Thursday. Hopefully Monday too. But Monday I have a little bit less, uh, more, a little bit less anticipation for it to blow up. It could be really volatile in e either direction. What do you think about the sticker? 
make sure to down in the comments below share subscribe and like and have a wonderful day now if you're still here on this video make sure to drop down below and join our discord we have a lot of different things going on including for instance members that gives picks for free it's not pump and dumps we just things we think about swings etc we also have really exciting bots uh you can actually use those ones for instance we're just testing out this bot for instance that gives you fibonacci resistance points activities etc and we have a bunch of free things totally free we run on tips here and you can ask me questions suggest stocks etc it's a really nice community that has been growing up uh, very fast at a very good rate and it's totally free if you would like to join that one feel to do so in the description below and have a wonderful day